watching part two of the Asus Vivo Tab RT review. Now, previously I did an overview. Now we're doing some closer looks at how the performance is. To be honest, it's hard to benchmark a tablet these days. This tablet with the Windows RT operating system has a proprietary browser, the Internet Explorer 10. No other browser that uh, I know of that I can install at this point in time to compare and do some proper benchmarks on it. The um, comparison is really with the operating system. If there's no other tablet with the same operating system to compare against, it makes it a little bit difficult. Obviously, if we compare it to an Android or an iPad, I mean, the apps are different. The applications are totally different. Um, what I can tell you, though, from using the uh, camera, for example, I found the 8 megapixel camera was very sharp, very clear, and um, I had no issues with that. I found it very nice compared to the iPad, which uh, the camera was not as good. Um, now, you can do download lots of different applications for free on, on the uh, store. Um, there are some you know, 3D games and stuff like that. The Peacekeeper benchmark here, I ran it just, just to see, okay? Because Microsoft has the Surface tablet and it's running Internet Explorer 10. This one here also has Internet Explorer 10. The benchmarks are almost identical. Obviously, because I cannot install any other browsers, I can't benchmark and compare how other browsers can do on this tablet compared to other tablets with the same type of browser. So, unfortunately, no benchmarks there for that. Um, but compatibility-wise, you know, Flash, um, opening up movies, you know, DivX, stuff like that, you're going to be able to run things. And that's the bottom line when it comes to uh, a tablet, right? You don't want things to be lagging behind just because the operating system won't allow it. So here's some PC benchmarks to give you an idea on the um, results for the CPU, the memory, and the disk. Now, looking at Opening up the PC from sleep mode and going right into the start screen, you can see there it just takes seconds to get in. So that's pretty darn good if you ask me. Um, getting familiar with this interface is nothing different than with Windows 8. So if you haven't seen my Windows 8 videos, you can click on that. This is very responsive. The screen is very nice, bright, easy to read. No issues there for me as well. Obviously, you know, it takes a little bit to get used to if you don't know which gestures to use in order to activate certain things. But once you get into it and you're familiar with it, it's just second nature. Comment below, let me know what you think, and again, thank you for watching.